Who did the fruit tree? It's beautiful. Nanita. And I can almost see like you got this Punta Vasa kind of style. It's lovely. Nanita, good work. I really appreciate you showing it to me. Thanks so much. Look at the orange twirls and the red twirls. Nanita, marvelous. Who did that? Lots of paint everywhere. It's interesting. Look at the reds at the background. You can see the orange on top of the reds, superimposed on the reds. And then look at that. Wow, beautifully done. I love the way the, the paints seem to have water in them and they flow. They almost have a like real paints would flow. Beautiful. Incidentally, who is, is this? Very beautiful. Oh, stunning work. Look at the little dots around it and the the, the strong reds with this almost darker tone of red. It's almost going black, but yet it still seems to be red. I, I'm not sure. Is it black? It keeps you questioning. Boys and girls, sometimes you've got to have indistinct that you're not sure what it is. I think it's really clever, especially this dark red or whatever you've used here. It just, you're not sure whether it's a black or it's a red. Beautiful. Good work, Lexi. And your, are those stars in the background? Stunning work. An interesting use of warm colors and dark colors. So she's got like a the blues and the purples give an almost coolish color with the whites and then you've got the reds and the orange the reds that give a element of of warmth and then you've got this black background wonderful work mark this volcano you can see the browns from the earth and the red heated lava coming up from the bottom and blowing through the top of the volcano and then you've got are these clouds and then you've got the sun again with its heat shining on the left hand side mark adamstein 